Physique Assessment. The question our expert panel addresses is, when do you use anthropometry? Associate Professor Gary Slater. I've been using surface anthropometry for at least the last 20 years. There wouldn't be a week go by where I don't assess the body composition of clients using surface anthropometry. Why do I use it? Well, it's cheap, it's robust, and it's portable. The only challenge associated with surface anthropometry as a tool for being able to assess body composition of clients is that it demands highly skilled technicians. And for mine, the best surface anthropometrists that I know are the ones that use the skill on a regular basis. If you don't currently have surface anthropometry skills, I'd really encourage you to acquire them because it's a technique you can actually use in-house. You don't need to outsource it. You can do it with your clients. And if you're really competent, you can just have so much faith in the data that's generated. The skin fold measurements, the girth measurements, they're so robust, they're not influenced by things that some of these other techniques are. Having something to eat or drink just before an assessment, not impacted. Doing exercise earlier in the day and doing your skin folds later in the day, not impacted. However, that said, if you're going to try and interpret body composition, then you'll normally combine your surface anthropometry, your skin folds, your girth measurements with a measure of body mass. And clearly your weight changes over the day. That diurnal variation can be upwards of a couple of kilos. So what we do there is we simply standardise when the person gets their body mass. And the best time of day to get a body mass is first thing in the morning after voiding your bladder. Dr. Kagan Ducker. So for me, particularly working as a sports physiologist, I tend to use it to assess changes and adaptations, uh, particularly in the body composition of athletes. And so I use um, mostly girths and skin folds, things like that to assess my athletes and to assess how they're adapting to the training that we're giving them or to whatever dietary intervention that the dietitian has given them to see what changes we're actually getting. Associate Professor Masaharu Kagawa. I use anthropometry uh, in many ways. Um, I use for uh, comparing uh, different ethnic backgrounds um, to assess um, health screening and also in relation to assessments of body image. Professor Tim Ackland. Anthropometry offers a low cost portable field technique which can be used for measuring body morphology and composition. We use it when uh, measurements in the laboratory are impractical. For further information on physique assessment, see our book, Best Practice Protocols for Physique Assessment in Sport, published by Springer.